I welcome you, new friend. Tell me, did you start playing recently? Or were you banned from a more popular website? It matters not. You've entered our lands and are free to partake of our bounty. On Ask G, you are free to say whatever you want involving our games. But know this, such freedoms come with a price. There is a war on Ask G as old as time. Poor souls who got bullied one too many times risk becoming survivoids and killroids. They'll be convinced that the side they play is super underpowered and that every lost game was completely unwinnable. Every buff to the role will go completely ignored. Every complaint the other side has is entitlement. They no longer seek balance and want their side to be as overpowered as possible. Do not bother trying to teach them of the error of their ways. They are lost, and any healthy debates will quickly devolve into ad hominems and straw man arguments. Be careful who you you on the threads. When traffic is at its lowest, the bait posters come out to play. Long broken individuals who have cast aside their humanity after giving into despair. False info and shifting goalposts are a telling sign, but the best are indistinguishable from the common man. Their sole goal is to entrap you, trick you into replying. They want you to give into your anger so that you may lose yourself in it, and their relentless pursuit of that goal makes them dangerous. While much less intimidating on the surface, Coomers are still to be feared. They operate in public, not even pretending to be on topic. Most don't even play the game they post ludes for, and want character balance and design choices to be centered around who has the fattest cock. If you let those big titties entice you, you'll eventually stop caring about the game you play. Your only involvement in Ask G will be posting about waifus and rubbing out those fat dopamine hits to Susan's stinky breath. Undoubtedly, the biggest threat to the board is the thread personalities. Do not engage. Every comment fuels their ego and desire to clip even more gameplay highlights. They are not stable. All it takes is one bad day and they'll shit up the threads for weeks to come. Worst of all are their orbiters. They fuel the fires and make sure that their leaders' names are a constant topic. The only thing that keeps them at bay is their general unlikability. Anyone with any level of social skills wouldn't bother making a trip on an anonymous basket weaving forum. Therefore, the ones that do are too autistic to gain a large enough following to take over. These things might scare you, new friend. But have no fear, for if you overcome these obstacles, you'll find a group of varying people who are passionate about this genre of games. And even if you do fall to one of these vices, you're always welcome in our threads.